Is there anything DeSantis could do to win over your support? No. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're all fired. All four are fired. You're fired. You're fired. If he goes on television, there's always a bomb, but there's a bigger bomb if you fire him. Frankly, you can't win that one. If I would have done it, I would have taken heat. Make America great again. DeSantis is Trump light. And honestly, honestly we have businesses home. that have been locked We're down put made in China. As state sanctioned kidnapping by the attorney general of, of this state, of California, you tweeted directly at the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. I want to get this right. You called him a small, pathetic man and asked, quote, kidnapping charges. Is that is that what you believe happened, Governor? Well, you said that being... Florida kidnapped migrants and brought them to California? Yeah, I think I'm being generous, small, and pathetic. I want to talk about Ron DeSantis and his failure to launch. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, retake. I want to talk about Ron DeSantis. See, I can't even do it. I want to talk about Ron DeSantis and his failure to launch. I'm Ron DeSantis. I am Ron DeSantis. This is Governor Ron DeSantis. Hello, this is Governor Ron DeSantis wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis kicked off his presidential run last week. Perhaps the only thing more confusing than trying to watch the campaign launch on Twitter spaces was hearing the candidate's last name. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. At the end of the day, leadership is not about entertainment. It's not about building a brand. It's not about virtue signaling. Uh, very generous. He's just weakness masquerading as strength. Yeah, he's flailing, desperate for attention. Let's just level set here. Let's level set. Here's a governor from the state of Florida that is using taxpayer money and he had to go to another state to find people under false pretense. I don't think this, I know this. I talked to the migrants, lied to them, took them into another state by bus and then took them on a chartered flight to Sacramento, lying to them that they had help on the other side, knocked on the door and they left these migrants right there on the steps. What kind of human being does that? It is about results. Again, the same day that Governor DeSantis released that video, he appeared on Fox News and he said this. And anybody that's so inclined to help us, I would love to have your support at rondesantis.com. Several hours of background noise of engineers trying to figure out whatever the hell's going wrong because Elon Musk fired everybody at Twitter was incredibly boring. <laughs> but not those of us who've known and worked with Elon for nearly a quarter century. His commitment to freedom, freedom, to freedom and his willingness to put his money out. I think we've got <laughs> a, just a massive number of people online, so it's um, serves a straining somewhat. Um, I do love listening to Elon um, and everything go to uh, shit in his uh, little world. Uh, that made it fun. Uh, stark announcement. <laughs> We're just trying, just trying to get it going. Coupled with the occasional chatter of how great crypto is, my God, this is the worst presidential launch in history. And what's with this name change? It was DeSantis. Now it's DeSantis. What the hell, man? Well, it's ridiculous, these stupid things. Listen, the way to pronounce my last name, winner. This presidential campaign is already over. He used to say how great Florida was. Hell, his whole family moved to Florida under my governorship. Are you kidding me? Um, so, so some of this stuff, I think, is look. If someone is saying that, I am gonna, I am gonna counterpunch. I'm gonna fight back on it. I'm gonna focus my fire on Biden, and I think he should do the same. He gives Biden a free pass. Um, I'm focusing on Biden. That's my focus. Always been Trump. It was originally Trump. 
and got changed sometime between the 1600s and when his late grandfather, Frederick Trump, arrived in the United States in 1885. Were you lying to your voters when you ran for governor? But now you think there's a chance that you might actually get to be president and you don't want to be called the wrong thing for the next four years? Wow. We know what woke is. It's a form of cultural Marxism. It's about putting merit and achievement behind identity politics. And it's basically a war on the truth. And as that has infected institutions, it has corrupted a lot of institutions. So you've got to be willing to fight the woke. We've done it in Florida. And we proudly uh, consider ourselves the state where woke goes to die. We really need to ensure that we have a two-term president to be able to see this to a conclusion. I mean, you do one term and they reverse it when they come in. You can't have it be reversed. Is it possible he doesn't know how to say it? And somebody had to tell him. I don't know why people are doing it. They're at 1%, some are at zero. Are you really go after the one who's second? And I think the one who's second is going down so much and so rapidly that I don't think he's going to be second that much longer. I think he's going to be third or fourth. It's one thing to change your look. It's one thing to have a reboot. What was it Mitt Romney was going to do? They were going to shake up the Etch-A-Sketch? Oh, oh, and what was Trump going to do? Let's see, I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, he was going to be so presidential it was going to be amazing. You got to be careful about that. You got to be careful about that because you don't, you don't want that. Even if you have to tiptoe down a ramp. That was the best speech I think I've ever made. And it was pouring rain and it was horrible and cold and windy. And they have a ramp that was pure like an ice skating rink. So I tiptoed down and I suffered for that. They never covered my speech. But everybody, the, the smart people understood that. But uh, that's too bad. Pouring rain? You saw. Maybe Trump knows that all of his challengers are waiting for him to slip and fall, legally and bigly. We're still eight months from votes being cast, but the campaign already seems to have a rather frenetic pace to it. What the hell? You can't change your name? It's weird to begin with. But you, you're also lying. You're either lying now or you're lying then. When you did all those commercials saying, hi, I'm Ron DeSantis and I suck Trump's cock. All the GOP jockeying is to see who can best position as a Trump alternative if and when the field should winnow because of the weight of Trump's legal troubles. The president's now attacking me, saying that Cuomo did better handling COVID than Florida did. This guy sounds like a whiny little bitch. Because that's what he is, a whiny little bitch. He attacked me for opposing an amnesty bill in the Congress. He did support this amnesty, this good lot too. Two million illegal aliens he wanted to amnesty. I opposed it because that's what America first principles dictate, that you're opposed to amnesty. When suddenly you have right wingers saying racist things about Chick-fil-A and trying to cancel Chick-fil-A as being, quote, woke for basically talking about their devotion to Jesus Christ, uh, they jumped the shark a long time ago. Hell, one reporter just wanted to ask him a question. And the question was about why he won't answer questions from the press. DeSantis damn near bit his head off. And DeSantis bitched out. He didn't answer the question and kept on talking to people who he needs their vote in Iowa. But he hasn't answered any questions to the press and the one about answering the questions, he bullshat. He's basically just deploying a buzzword. I mean, a few years ago, uh, the buzzword was cancel culture. Then they started talking about CRT and they realized nobody knew what they were talking about. So now they've come up with this word, which has just become this it, it has become the sort of you know drone in the background, um, and, I, and I think it goes to what what you were you know referencing Mark Leibovich's uh, profile of, of Ron DeSantis that there seems mm -hmm. something something sort of rote about the guy something you know you know distinctly inauthentic that somebody has handed him a card and said say this word over and over and over again DeSantis DeSantis whatever the fuck he's bullshit. You know that it's bad when even Donald Trump is saying that nobody knows what the word woke means. And, and, and to the heart of this, in terms of the substance, 
Um, you know, the fight for democracy is a, is a fight for constitutional, a liberal constitutional democracy. And that means pushing back against illiberalism. And there is illiberalism on the left. But what Ron DeSantis represents is illiberalism on the right, the use of the gov government power to silence ideas that he doesn't like, to punish people who say things that he disagrees with. Testy, testy, tiny D. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. D, testy, testy, tiny D. What the hell's the matter with this guy? Do Republicans really think he's still the great white hope? It's bizarre. Ron DeSantis is going to be landing in this city later this month yeah. to hold a fundraiser for his presidential campaign. Yeah. Should he be worried that law enforcement officials in this state are going to arrest him when he walks off the plane? I, 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 now we're getting into hyperbole. I, it, the bottom line is well, just work for accountability. I mean, I don't think it's hyperbole. You're the one raising the issue of criminality, potentially. We, potentially. Yeah. And we have to do the investigation. That, so, one, it's ready aim, fire, not ready, fire, aim. That's his approach. Our approach is to seek first to collect all the facts, but on the basis of facts of evidence that were provided. The reality is Trump's got it locked up. Every day there's more Republicans in the field. I was there with these folks directly and listened to how they, I mean, you know, human beings used as pawns for a guy's political advancement. That's pretty sad and pathetic. And, uh, and so I, I take this very seriously. And I, as I said, we are not Martha's Vineyard. I love Martha's Vineyard. We are not Martha. This is California, fourth or fifth largest economy on planet Earth. We mean business. And so Ron DeSantis should know that. And everyone that's been part of this, they may have more direct accountability and culpability, should know we mean business. And we're not backing away uh, from getting the facts and holding those accountable if they broke the laws of the state of California. They've got seven or eight now. The reality is Trump's got 35, 38, maybe as much as 40 percent locked up. If you recall, I predicted 38. The more people in the field, the more it guarantees his nomination. DeSantis, word of advice, you're wasting your time. Get out of the race. It's just going to blow some money. You could run for Senate. Hell, Florida will give it to you. And you can take all that money that you've raised to be president and put it in your senatorial campaign, and you will have it locked in for the rest of your life. I just keep going back to what Ronald Reagan said in his last speech as president of the United States. He said, when we stop welcoming immigrants to this country, then we stop being the young, vibrant, dynamic country that we have been for over 200 years. We'll become old and tired and exhausted. But this presidential campaign is going nowhere. Please stay in it and help destroy the Republican Party. Flying, flying uh, Im immigrants up to the Naval Observatory, a lot of them in T-shirts, and dumping them outside of the vice president's residence on Christmas Eve where it's mm. freezing. Again, they think that they're owning Kamala Harris. All they're doing is showing just, just the, the, the core of their existence. And on Christmas Eve to do this to little three, four, five-year-old children in T-shirts, dumping them in freezing weather for a political stunt it seems politically depraved to me, at least. And I think Gavin Newsom is underlining that fact now in an important way. Today I walk in, I hear I'm going to fire him. I'm not firing him. I think he's a wonderful guy. Should you have fired Fauci? So a lot of people ask me that question, and I did it right. Because if you do fire him, you're going to have a firestorm on the left again. Why, why did you feel unable to fire Fauci? Personally, you're not allowed to. Every time he goes on television, there's always a bomb. But there's a bigger bomb if you fire him. Frankly... You can't win that one. If I would have done it, I would have taken heat. Doesn't matter to me. Because Trump's not going to win it either. But you don't have a snowball chance in hell. Fuck, man. You can't even decide on a name. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy. Have you ever eaten a chocolate pudding with three fingers? Until, of course, Donald Trump tears his liver out and eats it live on stage. <laughs> I'll show you falling behind the, the trunk. Any thoughts on that?
I'm not I'm not a candidate, so we'll see if uh, if and when that changes. Then Mr. Trump said, "You're fired." I love that part. 